Hey everyone, so this video is going to be my thoughts on Brock Lesnar leaving WWE after SummerSlam to fight John Jones at a UFC event. So at UFC 214, John Jones called out Brock Lesnar after feeding Daniel Cormier. The internet exploded, to say the least. So on this past week's episode of Monday Night Raw, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar came out and Paul Heyman basically laid out the implication that Brock Lesnar will be leaving WWE after SummerSlam. But honestly, I don't think that that's really true. I partially understand where he's coming from with that statement. Do I think Lesnar is going to lose the Fatal 4-Way? Absolutely. For a couple of reasons that I will tell you. Lesnar is going to lose in a few weeks because apparently the higher ups, the suits and ties of the company, have been really upset that the Universal title hasn't been defended on various pay-per-views and they want the Universal title there every single week. They want the champion on TV and I completely agree with that actually. They want the title to mean more and how can it mean something if the title is barely ever visible or the champ is barely ever there? So I completely get that point. Now, do I think that Lesnar is leaving WWE for good? No. I think Lesnar will lose at SummerSlam because he's going to need to take a couple of months off to train to fight Jon Jones in the wintertime or maybe early 2018. So it makes sense for him to lose on August 20th at SummerSlam for a couple of reasons. Like I said, he needs to take time off to train for his one-off appearance against Jon Jones because it's a big money maker for WWE and UFC. So kind of like in 2016 when he faced off against Mark Hunt, he got $2.5 million, the most ever in UFC for a single fight. So he got the most money ever. So he probably going to do the same thing, get, you know, two to three million dollars and um, to have a one off appearance again. He is not going to leave WWE. I think that when his contract expires in April of 2018, I think he's going to go on an even more reduced schedule. If that is any crazier, I don't know. But I think he's going to have more of a Undertaker schedule where he literally only shows up for WrestleMania season. Um, it's not like he does much more now, but he does occasionally show up on Raw here and there. But I think it's going to be even less if they do come to that agreement in April of 2018. I know that WWE wants to resign him because of course he is a star. He's a big cash cow for the company and you know a ton of UFC people love him like fans of UFC love Lesnar but the reason why I think Lesnar will resign is because to give an example if he fights once or twice a year that's maybe five to six million right 2.5 million each fight or three million each fight he made in 2016 in WWE just to give a roundabout figure he made 12 million dollars that's with his appearances, his merchandise, so on, so forth, etc. Lesnar is a businessman. He's incredibly smart with his decisions. And I think most people are going to go where the money is. Now, UFC is definitely a draw, of course. But as opposed to $6 million a year or $5 million a year, why wouldn't you go with the company that's making you $12 million a year to not literally, you know, break bones and kill yourself ultimately, you know? Like, of course, yeah, you do get injured in WWE, but it's not as severe as UFC, of course. Um, now, one can hold the argument that WWE is harder because it's 300 days a year. If you're only fighting once or twice a year, it's not as intense on your body. That's also a true. I, I gotta give it to you. That's also a very valid point. Um, there's pros and cons to both, but I think he will resign with WWE and I think they will renew his contract, but with a, like, a super reduced schedule, like, only WrestleMania season, a la Undertaker. You know, how Undertaker only came in from, like, 
February to April here and there. Um, he made a little bit of appearances and had his epic Mania match. I think Lesnar's going to be in that same boat considering he is 40 now. So he is wrestling on borrowed time. So I think that's kind of the route they're going down. Um, I don't think Lesnar is going to be gone from WWE forever. I think he will lose at SummerSlam so he could have time off to practice to face Jon Jones in the wintertime, in, you know, four to six months from now. And I think he will show up again around WrestleMania season come, you know, late February, early March of 2018 to have a feud with someone and to have his, you know, WrestleMania paycheck. So that's my thoughts on that. I definitely think he will be facing John Jones and um, he's definitely losing at SummerSlam. I'd be shocked if he won, you know. Um, Lesnar's not the type of person to turn down a paycheck or a fight, so I definitely see him having a one-off appearance at UFC because it's great for UFC, gets a lot of more buy rates for the pay-per-view, and it's great for WWE because it expands their markets. So it's great for Lesnar because Lesnar has his hand in so many different outlets, and I feel like it's only expanding his brand. So it's a great move for Lesnar because Lesnar doesn't need the Universal title, let's be honest, and the WWE higher-ups want the title on the show a lot more often. So it's a win-win for everybody. Lesnar gets to make a couple million by, you know, agreeing to a fight with Jon Jones and ultimately makes a lot more money resigning with WWE with a lighter schedule come 2018. So that is my opinion. I definitely think Lesnar will stick around, but just with an even more lighter schedule. Hard to believe, I know. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you could join my squad. I love you guys so much.